Hello everyone. Living in foreign country, one must be prepared for handling things all alone or with help of a partner. Likewise, when you are pregnant, you need to be prepared to handle things because we don't know when will things change due to current corona situation. As you already know, I am pregnant for the second time and I am planning to share the important things to be aware for each trisemester. In this video, let me explain you what are the things one need to do in Germany during first trisemester. So watch this video till the end. Come, let's get started. whatever I am sharing in this video is based on my personal experience and research. Before following any diet or medical related stuffs, kindly consult with your doctor or with your hebame. Before looking to first trisemester, I would like to share you the importance of two doctors in Germany. One is Hausarzt and another one is Fravanarzt. If you are new to Germany or shifting from one city to another city, one must make sure to find the Hausarts and Fravanarts in their locality. And this is very important as well. It will be very helpful when you are facing some kind of medical issues. Hausarts or Algamine Arts. In simple, they are like a family doctor. They normally do the general checkups and give treatments for the general health issues. If you are facing any issues, you have to visit the house arts first. And she or he or she will be treating you and giving the medicines accordingly. Coming to Fravanarts, they also called as a Farkarts. Basically, they are gynecologists. Once you settled in new city, try to enroll yourself with any of the nearest house arts and Fravanarts. If you couldn't find anyone, talk with your health insurance provider, they will help you to get one. So now, coming to main topic. If you are trying for pregnancy, consult your gynecologist first because they will advise you to take some folic acid medicines and some vaccination like rubella which is really important in Germany and also follow some healthy diets and healthy lifestyle. If required, you can also take some tests based on the doctor advice. Once your pregnancy is confirmed with home pregnancy test, inform your gynecologist and try to get an appointment as soon as possible. If gynecologist is giving an appointment after a month or after two or three weeks, don't worry. It is okay because it takes minimum six weeks to eight weeks to see a baby in the ultrasound. In meantime, you can take folic acid tablets which is very essential for pregnant ladies. Intake of folic acid prevents certain defects in developing fetus and this will be suggested by the gynecologist as well. If they are giving an appointment, late appointment, you can also ask their gynecologist which folic acid tablet is good to take up and they will suggest you some brands. Once you get confirmation from gynecologist that you are pregnant, now it's time to search for Hebame. In English, it's called as midwife. Who is Hebame? How she will be helpful during your pregnancy and after birth? All such informations are given in detail in this video. Kindly check it out. Inform to employer. Once your gynecologist confirms that you are pregnant, if you are a working woman, you have to inform your pregnancy to your employer so that they will plan and allocate your work to others once you go into parental leave. Coming to health complication. Getting nausea, vomiting, morning sickness, tiredness and many other symptoms are very very normal in pregnancy and it varies each person and also in each pregnancy. For me, first pregnancy was very simple and easy to handle because I didn't have any nausea, vomiting, sickness and all. I was too active and roaming here and there. But this time in my second pregnancy, till now I'm facing lot of changes in my body. Used to lay down every day in a bed completely. I had a breathing trouble, vomiting, sickness and many more. Somehow, I am able to manage with help of my husband's support. Luckily, I was able to withstand up. 
most important if you are facing any such issues don't get panic and don't get worried stay strong and get support from your husband or from your friends now you could see i'm also facing breathing trouble during pregnancy while talking so i'm taking multiple breaks to take this video <laughs> coming to the importance of muta pass once pravanats confirm your pregnancy they will give you a muta pass the muta pass looks like this which contains the history of your entire pregnancy they will note down all the results like weight bp measurement etc in this muta pass wherever you go throughout your pregnancy you have to carry this muta pass with you it helps doctor to know your medical condition normally in one muta pass they can enter two pregnancy data kindly keep this muta pass safe for future it will help you in one or the other way i'm saying this from my experience because i missed my muta pass while shifting house which was given to me during my first pregnancy my doctor told that muta pass is very important because they verify our previous medical pregnancy histories as well it makes their job easier to treat the second pregnancy otherwise they have to take few tests once again so we have to pay for it so please keep this muta pass very safe going to test and ultrasound during first trimester Normally in 10th week of pregnancy they do first ultrasound and to confirm your pregnancy generally in entire pregnancy three ultrasound is completely paid by the health insurance provider it means each trimester one ultrasound is free if you are in risk pregnancy or you have any other health complication then doctor will suggest you to take a ultrasound in every checkups at free of cost otherwise you have to pay for taking the additional ultrasound so now coming to test some tests are covered by the krankan kase and some have to pay from your own pocket but you can decide whether you want to take the test or not the list of test is mentioned in muta pass and also you can get a booklet from your health insurance provider there once you confirm your pregnancy talk with your health insurance provider they will give you the booklet in that you will get to know all the informations like what are the food you can eat do's and don'ts when to do what all such information additionally if you are insured with tk health insurance then you can download tk baby site app where you can find pregnancy related information based on each week and many more informations as well and if you want to know more in detail about the tk baby site app kindly check out this video in my cards also you can download other pregnancy related apps there are many english related pregnancy apps are available in the market i personally using tk baby site app and pregnancy plus app so these are the main information that you have to be aware during first trimester of pregnancy in germany i got multiple requests from you people to make a, a video about the pregnancy trimester so i'm in last month of pregnancy finally i got some time to make this video hopefully i will make a video on second trimester and third trimester as well so if you want to know more in detail about the pregnancies i have already made a set of videos about the pregnancy and baby ka kindly check out all those videos in the card section if you have any queries about pregnancy or about germany feel free to book a one to one appointment or if you want me to talk any particular topic about the pregnancy and baby ka kind kindly leave a comment i will make a video soon on that so i hope you got some useful information about the pregnancy i will see you in yet another interesting video please do share this video to your friends who are pregnant until then bye bye from vanakam germany priya